Today we are doing a trail called Scales. Uh, it's supposed to have a little bit of a challenge to it. Enjoy the ride. My name's Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. This trail is not supposed to be too difficult, but we'll see. I don't have a lot of information on it. I don't exactly know what I'm getting into. I am absolutely certain there's a YouTube video on it, but I didn't do any research. A uh, local gentleman came by and mentioned that this was one of the trails he'd probably recommend for somebody looking for something a little bit more exciting. Good way to find trails in areas? Talk to local people. That's some good advice right there. It is definitely not too bad. I mean, there are some rocks, but it's nothing crazy. Paved gravel, it is not. Look at that, a little bit of camping along the way. Can't beat that. From what I've heard, most of the camping is up top. But it's nice to note there are a couple campsites along the trail. I even got one bar of Verizon. Where the trail kind of comes to a bend area, it's a little road leading straight, so I figured I would check it out. And lo and behold, look at this. A nice big camp. Well-maintained campfire. A little extra firewood for you, too. Can't beat that. Let's go see what trail this is. Look at this. Little Wilson Creek, Jefferson National Forest. That sun is getting a lot lower than I like, so I better pick up the pace here. But at least one thing's nice. Everybody's told me there's camping on, at the top of this trail. So that's where we're planning on setting up at. Although I do have this one marked and hey, there's Verizon service. I can actually work from here too. And the road's just rough enough that I'm pretty sure they're gonna be open on weekdays. So far, I haven't seen any horses, but I have seen the signs that they are taking this trail, i.e. watch out for horse poop. So as you're going along the trail, you know, just mind your speed, pay attention to what's in front of you, make sure you aren't gonna spook the horses. If you're enjoying this content, Please do me a favor and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. We have made it to a gate. And what do you do if you open a gate? You close a gate. So right after the gate, you have made it. Nice open meadow, place for your horses, and welcome to Scales. So farmers grazing cattle in these mountains use this area as a place to gather, weigh, and sell their cattle. Because the cattle weighed less after walking down the mountain, farmers quickly learned that their animals brought the best price with their high country weight. Over time, this high country exchange became known as the scales. Well, now it all makes sense. We are on the search 
for the wild miniature horses. Not every day you get to see wild horses. Although, I think they see plenty of people because they seem pretty darn tame. You're not a horse. Nice try, buddy. This is a pretty nice place up here. Definitely, absolutely worth the trip. They're nice level campsites. Tons of room. Got bathrooms on site. Was not expecting that. The drive up here was nothing crazy. All terrain tires are better. I aired down um, just for comfort. You probably don't need to. Scales is also known as Forest Road 613. The trailhead's off Fairwood Road, and the nearest large town that I'm aware of is Damascus, Virginia. Scales is an out and back trail that's a little over four miles long one way. It's not a paved gravel road by any means, but you definitely do not need a built up rig to get in here. If you look closely on the video, you'll see a Sprinter van and a Subaru parked in the meadow as well. You will need, let's say, medium clearance. I would take a two wheel drive vehicle as long as it wasn't muddy. There are a couple camp spots as you go up, but the main destination camp spot is definitely the meadow. It's amazing up here. The meadow is nice and open with plenty of level places and fire rings. You've also got a bear locker where you can keep your food and there are two pit outhouse style toilets. Bring your own water because there's no water on site. An interesting tidbit, the Appalachian Trail actually crosses at the Scales Meadow. So if you want to make somebody's day, bring some extra food. As the hikers come through, see if they want a little snack or something. Make their day be what's called a trail angel. We had a great time on this trail. The trail is nice, scenic, not a gravel road, but not overly challenging. So you kind of sit back and just enjoy the ride. I mean, it was just a really good experience. Me and my daughter had a great time. If you're in the Damascus area, I would definitely make this trail one of your stops. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out this other one. It's another one of my favorites in Virginia. Thanks again. Until next time, enjoy the ride.